Tonight we're having pork ribs cooked in the slow cooker, um, topped with low carb barbecue sauce. And I'm also going to make a mashed cauliflower as a side. So follow along and I'll show you how we do this. I wanted to note that I cooked the ribs on low and I did add a little bit of water to the bottom of the pan, like maybe half a cup of water in there with them. And they were only in for four hours and we checked them with the thermometer to make sure they were cooked through. So perfect, really simple keto supper. So I threw the pork side ribs in the crock pot today and I picked up this nifty little bag so that I wouldn't have to clean the crock pot. Isn't that awesome? And actually, this is what it looks like right here. It looks like this, Slow Cooker Liners by Reynolds. I got them at Walmart. I use this honey barbecue seasoning from Flavor God. It's okay. You could season it with like onion powder, garlic powder, whatever. That would probably be better. I'm not a huge fan, but I was in a rush this morning. Then I'm gonna to top this with Guy's barbecue sauce, which has two um, grams of net carbs for two tablespoons, so. Yep, we're gonna put some right on top of here, and then we are going to broil this in the oven. So I've put the barbecue sauce on here, and I'm just gonna brush it all over like you would any other barbecue sauce. I might end up adding a little bit more. Probably I would count um, three tablespoons. Just threw the ribs in the oven under the broiler until sort of the barbecue sauce Maybe gets a little like crispy-ish. It doesn't really, because it doesn't have the sugar to really caramelize, but you know, we do our best. In the meantime, look how amazing that is. I don't ever have to clean this crock pot again, thanks to this little bag. Definitely get those if you ever use your crock pot, but I'm gonna let it cool down before I throw it out. This is what the ribs look like when they come out of the oven. They look sort of caramelized-y. Super delicious anyways. Now I'm actually gonna do the mashed cauliflower and this is how I do it. I have this large Epicure steamer. You could use any steamer, you don't have to use this one. This just happens to be what I have. And, oh, it's got a little leaf in there. So anyways, I'm just gonna steam this in the microwave for like five or six minutes till it seems tender enough to smush. So now we are gonna add some extra ingredients to this. So this is a 680 gram bag of cauliflower. That's twice the size of that I normally make. So keep that in mind if you're doing this recipe. It is for a lot of mashed cauliflower. Um, we are gonna add this Philadelphia whipped chive cream cheese, some normal cheese, some bacon bits. And you cannot forget the salt and pepper because you need to season your food. If you're not seasoning your food, you're crazy. Okay, so there's our cooked cauliflower. Steve, can you do me a favor? Can you put that into the bowl for me? Okay, good enough. So, okay, so we've added all of the mashed cauliflower in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weigh out, I've got my little settings here, zero grams. So I'm gonna weigh out one cup of this Kraft cheese, which is 90 grams. So this is what I do. Oops, it's like you went off already. Hold on, I'm gonna reset it. No, buddy. Okay, so I've got it to zero. So I'm going to add, and Carter wants a yogurt. 90 grams of cheddar cheese, because this is like a loaded, okay, 91, good enough. And then I want to add 84 grams of bacon bits. There, 84 grams of bacon bits. And the last thing I have to add is this cream cheese. I have to put the phone down. And all out of this chive stuff, I put like half of that in. And then so I just added some normal Philadelphia cream cheese. This box is like destroyed, but. There you go, so now your next job is just to mix it all together and then you're gonna season it with salt and pepper. So I'm just using this little hand mixer and I'm gonna mix the crap out of all of this stuff. If I can embed this in, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I don't have skills. Okay, so that's what the mashed cauliflower looks like. That is what the ribs look like on my plate. That is 11 and a half ounces of meat. But it's really low in carbs, so. It's all good and yeah.
yeah, I'll let you know what it all looks like. That is what this dinner looks like. It is relatively simple to throw together if you just remember to get those ribs in the crock pot. Um, yep, yeah, that's what they look like. Enjoy, guys.